and the reason for his lashing was that 17 men testified before Al Hassan, Abu Al Hassan Al Zayadi, judge of the Sharqiyya, that Isa ibn Jafar had defamed Abu Bakr, Umar, Aisha, and Hafsa. 17 men witnessed this brave individual, this man with great valor, courage, revealing the truth regarding the characters of Abu Bakr and Umar, Aisha and Hafsa, stating that they have killed the messenger, for example. That those individuals, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, or Abu Bakr, Umar, Aisha and Hafsa were those who conspired against the Prophet, blessings be upon him and his progeny, and killed him via poison. And as Aisha herself, due to her ittirab, due to her nervousness, have declared things that may that one may suspect her a suspect to this crime. Where she states in Al-Bukhari, Hadith Al-Ladud, where she states, I forced fed the messenger a substance. And he was saying, do not feed me, do not feed me. But she still forced fed him this substance. And after it, as the narration states, or as several narration states, after this, تَدَهْوَرَتْ حَالَةُ النَّبِي صلى الله عليه وآله. The, the illness or sickness of the Prophet deteriorated. His condition deteriorated after this substance. And if you go to the hadiths of the progeny, blessings be upon them, if we go to Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam and ask him regarding this matter, what did he say? He said, Aisha and Hafsa bi amrin min abawayhima innahuma saqayahu They, Aisha and Hafsa, fed him this poison. by the orders of their fathers, Abu Bakr and Umar. This man simply stated this, stated the fact, this is our messenger, O oh people. Our messenger have, has died. Our messenger has been poisoned. How can anyone sleep his night whilst knowing that his messenger has been killed and no one knows yet how did he die. There is ikhtilaf. Some people say he died from, from the death of a, uh, from the poison of a Jewish woman. Three years prior to his death. Which is absolutely illogical. It is, it is almost impossible to believe. Any rational man, man, any rational individual would refuse to believe such. Especially with the Prophet undertaking his normal daily activities as normal. We did not see, for example, that history did not even record even a weak athar, even a weak trace, that after the Prophet, blessings be upon him, took that meat, although according to us he did not even eat that poisoned meat, the known hadith, history did not even record a weak trace that his condition or his state began to deteriorate after, after eating that lamb by that given by or produced or given by the Jewish woman we do not have a, even a weak ether of this rather we have the contrary that he was continuing he was fighting he was battling he was giving um, sermons he was as active he was in his prime during that time he was actually in his prime from the conquest of Khaybar till Hunayn The Prophet was as was in his prime, one can say. But yet they say that they that the Prophet died because of this. And some say no, he died just uh, without 
any type of uh, poison, he died normally, a natural death. However, in Musnad Ahmad, hadith by Abdullah ibn Mas'ud says, لَأَنْ أَحْلِفَ تِسْعًا If I were to swear by Allah nine times that the Prophet died uh, uh, via poison, I would have done so and I would not have sworn, sworn once that he died a natural death. What do you do with this? And the hadith is sahih in Musnad Ahmad by Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. One may refer to the books and read. He says, I am prepared to swear nine times by Allah that the Prophet died by poison. He was poisoned. He was killed. He was killed. And I am not prepared to even swear once that he died a natural death. And this is a Sahabi and the hadith is sahih. This individual, this brave individual, by the name of Isa ibn Ja'far, remember his name. Carry his name to your generations, inshaAllah. Teach your children the brave sacrifice of this man, whom because of him and his likes, we are today Shia. He merrily stated that fact. And specifically cursing who? Or insulting who? Or speaking against who? Abu Bakr, Umar, Aisha and Hafsa, the four conspirators and the four killers of the Holy Prophet. Blessings be upon him and his progeny. Seventeen men testified to the governor that Isa ibn Ja'far had defamed Abu Bakr and Umar and Aisha and Hafsa. Stating that he said Aisha killed the Prophet, Aisha came out against Amir al muminin Aisha let men enter upon her house and reveal to them how to do bathing or how to do ritual bathing. She, she'd done innovations. He, he said that Abu Bakr, uh, uh, Fatima alayhi salam died angry with Abu Bakr. He usurped the right. He was a hypocrite. Stating that Umar, for example, was an evil, malicious individual, a hypocrite, who attacked, the, who attacked Fatima alayhi salam, who attacked the daughter of the Holy Prophet, threatening to burn her house, killed her and her unborn baby, unborn baby, al muhassin blessings be upon him. He stated that Hafsa used to curse Imam Ali alayhi salam. He stated these facts that can be found on, in, in the books of the opponent. He stated these facts. 17 men went to the governor and probably after unable to face him and, I, and, un, and unable to deter him from his statements and his position, they resorted to informing the authorities that this individual was a Rafidi and he's cursing Abu Bakr and Umar, Aisha and Hafsa and something needs to, do, needs to be done about it. So what do they do?